barrier. If you don't know what weakness policy does, it's if it's hit by a super effective move, it raises the special attack by two stages. I probably should have said that. <laughs> I probably should have started that out. Started out with that, but yeah. And then uh Rhyperior has the ability solid rock. The Pokemon receives three fourths damage from super effective attacks. Hey, what is up everybody? Uh my name is Danger, and today we are going over the team that actually got me all the way from beginner tier to master ball tier in like five days i'm looking like a mess i just got off of work i'm about to go to bed but yeah i wanted to do this video for you all real quick so i promised on the live streams that i would uh the code for this rental team is down below it's probably going to change though so check the description first for the rental team code uh, before you actually enter this one as well as the whole like spread for this team as i go over it will be in the description uh, below if you want to copy that put it in showdown uh but now that that ugh, now that that's out of the way let's uh, actually open up showdown here so and uh take a look at the team so we're gonna start off with charizard here uh charizard is the one of the sweepers on this team i guess you could say and he's running flamethrower air slash dragon pulse and solar beam sometimes uh you know they're running pokemon um like excadrill even though uh, this focus ass excadrill destroys charizard uh he takes a pretty heavy hit considering it's a physical attacker and uh, this is definitely a more you know special defensive type of set here so excadrill is definitely scary i would rather bring honestly i i, I would probably rather bring rhyperior uh for x to be up against excadrill but it just depends on the context of your enemy's team of course but yeah um but yeah threats to charizard excadrill um rotom wash is is a is kind of a threat but not really same for rhyperior as well now uh rotom wash hits charizard with its electric and uh water moves but you can actually do something to bait so if you're against a rotom wash you see your enemy as a rotom wash uh what you could do is actually send out your charizard or rhyperior on purpose and uh, Rhyperior is definitely the better one for rotom wash and you'll see why and hope that they do a volt switch a uh, thunder whatever um a thunderbolt and you can actually go from you know your rhyperior or charizard into your gastrodon gastrodon doesn't take any damage from electric attacks because it's a ground type and if they use hydro pump uh gastrodon will actually get a, a times two into its uh, special attack stat <laughs> which can definitely be amazing and same with um same strategy with draco fish too so a lot of people say like ah draco fish is a threat uh draco fish definitely a threat not dismissing it at all but storm drain gastrodon is awesome but yeah charizard is really cool solar beam uh you know covers things like rhyperior uh it could, eh, up against tyranitar i mean it super effective against tyranitar but tyranitar can definitely take a solar beam for bulkier pokemon you definitely want to bring rhyperior but yeah charizard is a really good pokemon uh generally you're definitely going to want to be bringing rhyperior but charizard is good if they don't have like bulky uh you know ground type answers or just fast or an excadrill <laughs> excadrill is really scary um and yeah we actually and then coverage for charizard i guess is like i said gastrodon uh wheezing is a good uh good coverage for charizard just because it, you know if you know if, if there's a tyranitar or something wheezing has an amazing defense stat you know a lot of tyranitars are special a lot uh, running special stat sets but yeah this is there as well as for um gyarados wheezing can help cover for gyarados uh just do a bunch of cool stuff you got will-o-wisp on the wheezing as well so for that tyranitar you can will-o-wisp it if it is a physical attacker and just a bunch of other mons like that too mimic you obviously mimic you is not a threat but uh wheezing's there for a mimic you as well uh we actually have a corvic knight to cover for mimic you uh, mimic is really annoying and also for charizard if you want to cover uh rotom wash because uh, you see all my moves are not very effective towards rotom wash with gastrodon but we have a ferrothorn too just to go against rotom wash um gastrodon's really good for rotom heat and then rotom mo that destroys gastrodon um you know <laughs> we have corvic knight we have wheezing who has a uh, flamethrower on this like i showed before so we got definitely some good coverage for the rotoms here uh, i don't actually use corvic knight a lot to be honest but if they have like a gardevoir or just other mons it's definitely good to have corvic knight right so like he has a really good defense stat really good special defense uh, amazing amazing hp well i guess <laughs> i guess not amazing but yeah really good hp i feel like amazing is anything really past 100 
uh, but let's talk about our boy Rhyperior, the main, the main course here, the, 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 yeah, the, that boy. So Rhyperior is amazing, really good. He has super good HP, crazy attack stat, good defense, and um, pretty poor special defense. That's why Gastrodon is so crucial uh, on this team because Gastrodon could take special uh, attacks, you know, from things like what, what's that Pokemon? Uh, Sylveon. Sylveon destroys Rhyperior. Uh, Gastrodon is really good against Sylveon and Char I never run Charizard and Rhyperior together. It's either depending on the context of the team I'm either running Charizard or Rhyperior. Uh, they have a lot of steel types, you know, I'm running Charizard um, But yeah, let's go back to Rhyperior and then we'll go back to Charizard. So with Rhyperior the main th the main strategy you want to do here is Dynamax Dynamax right away bait them into super hit super affecting you Dynamax right away uh, and just sweep them with your stab stone edge this is doing a lot 100 times 1.5 what is that 150 i don't know hopefully that is quick maths let's see uh so the stab move 100 times 1.5 please don't okay yeah so it is 150 and then times two from the weakness policy is gonna be so you're doing an attack with 300 uh power freaking crazy uh just from stone edge and that gets up uh sandstorm as well and another crazy thing is rhyperior is dynamax rhyperior is a hundred percent um answer to to uh um, what's that pokemon cloister cloister gets destroyed by rhyperior what you do is you dynamax you max rocket max rock fall it you you know get it uh cloister's focus sash comes in and it, it'll die from the sandstorm hit so yeah, right here is a really good answer to Cloyster. Uh, right here is a good answer to uh, Rotom Wash. And what you can what you can do sometimes. Uh, I don't know why I have Ice Punch on here. I run Outrage. I'll go over Outrage in a second too. Uh, but what you could do, or what I like to do, is Fire Punch, uh, Dynamax Fire Punch into the Rotom. And what that'll do is make it sunny so when Rotom actually does hit us with a max geyser or something it'll do like half damage which is really cool but max stone edge is, is all right usually a lot of Rotoms like to run focus sashes though which is why i do that but it's definitely a gamble and just look, like i said always look at the context of the team because excadrill always runs a focus sash as well and stuff and stuff like that um but yeah if there's like no other sash type of mons you can just kind of guess that rotom wash is probably running a sash so fire punch and take that hit it'll hit its sash and then if it uses like you know crazy move again uh crazy hydro pump or whatever you then you can go into your stone edge but rotom dynamaxing is kind of a threat to rhyperior uh really really annoying especially with the max move that makes rain appear yeah, it could definitely be de detrimental. So if you find yourself Dynamaxed Rhyperior and Rotom Wash Dynamaxes, just switch. Don't even risk it. Just switch into Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is a great, great coverage against Stinky Rotom Wash. And yeah, just, just awesome stuff. Um, but going back to Rhyperior, we have Outrage on this for Dragapult um, and Hydreigon. A lot of people don't expect Outrage. They always stay out. <laughs> they always stay out and it's actually hilarious oh you know why this is like this because i was using this for a raid guide right period um but yeah they never they never expect outrage on the dragon pokemon so you could just you know prank them real quick uh and then for this move that i'm actually fixing right now i have i think i have heavy slam do i is it heavy slam or is there another steel move um wow no iron tail we're gonna do iron tail i, I don't think it's iron tail on here yeah i have heavy slam i should definitely change it to iron tail um the accuracy is not the best though but whatever anyways i have this steel move on here though just for uh things like mimic you and other fairy type pokemon because yeah they don't expect really the steel type move either also tyranitar is a good check to this rhyperior as well uh if you see a tyranitar just switch into ferrothorn or switch into uh, Weezing. What you want to do is try to figure out if it's a spe special <laughs> or a physical attacker. Most of them I've come across are special attackers, but it could just be a coincidence for me. Uh, but yeah, um, Rhyperior special defense is garbage. Not good at all. If you see like fairy type Pokemon like uh, Hatterene, Gardevoir, and just other special attackers, you want to go into Gastrodon. Gastrodon also has Ice Beam. So when you have things like Hydreigon, that are running around being annoying uh switching into gastrodon with the amazing special defense amazing hp can you just ice beam the stinky uh hydreigon stinky physical or special attackers and just tank it really good stuff 
um and then wheezing wheezing is really good um just for like you know like i said like mimic you great defense stat uh pretty pretty good Peter, oh, nah. all right hp not really uh pretty good attack stat and yeah but we're running a special attack set on here just for the coverage oh and for pharaoh thorn too wheezing's good because right now a lot of people aren't running um steel moves on their pharaoh thorn I, I, even in master ball tier I don't know why i probably should run a steel move maybe get rid of toxic and then for like gyro ball i'll edit i maybe i'll edit i don't know but yeah it's pretty funny um so you could do that other steel pokemon like excadrill but this thing is destroyed by steel type too so eh. uh so you have to be really really careful but yeah this is good against like things like rillaboom uh, obviously we have clear smog for that too. clear smog for mimic you uh, fairy types dazzling gleams for things like tyranitar dark types will-o-wisp just to you know for obstagoon for physical for mimic you uh, will-o-wisp is really good for mimic you um, you know just in case you feel like using another Pokemon <laughs> and yeah it's really cool um, I'm upset with myself because I kind of skipped over Charizard so let's go back to Charizard a good strategy to do is Dynamax with Charizard and then use your max Wormwind and once you use your max Wormwind, you're, you're, you're going to be really fast. And I think one or two of those, you'll be able to outspeed Dragapult. Like 328 times 1.5. Um, 328 times 1.5. Uh, 492, yeah. So you'll be able to outspeed uh, Dragapult even unless it's Scarf. But I don't know why they would waste it on a Choice Scarf on it. There's nothing to out really outspeed. Uh, you can be super fast. You can uh, destroy Togekisses. So... Togekiss is a, a threat to this, or not really a threat to this team. We have a freaking Rhyperior, but, um, and I always pick Rhyperior. It's just Togekiss will always try to flinch you. So you want to Dynamax and just max Rockfall ASAP since Dynamax Pokemon can't flinch. So yeah, Rhyperior will hurt Togekiss pretty bad. But uh, for some reason in the your part, or enemy's context, didn't make sense to bring Rhyperior and you brought Charizard instead. Um, strategy good strategy for tokens or really anything it's just use a max uh worm worm get really fast and then use flamethrower so you get your the sunny day and with the sunny day um your attacks do 1.5 times damage and then solar power makes your special attack stat 1.5 times more but you lose one eighth of your hp per turn so you're doing uh times three so uh the max move i think is 130 but we're gonna say 120 just to be safe and then times three so yeah you're doing a lot of damage and then if it's 130 um uh, i'm not wrong it's 390 yeah you're doing a lot of a lot of damage you could be crazy and put a life orb on this thing but yeah, you're gonna be losing a lot of damage, but say you wanted to do a life orb uh, Oh, and we're accounting for stab too. So um, 1.5 times 3 four, Actually, this is 1.3 times damage. Yeah minus 0.2 times 130 <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> So yeah, uh, you you can are uh, well, it's a it's a rental team so you're gonna use the set i have but if you wanted to take this team into your own hands and you know breed or do other methods to get these pokemon uh whatever you're comfortable with yeah that, that, that's a good option too for this charizard i'm so so tired i worked all day i'm trying to think of uh situations where i do pick charizard because i it's really fun to sweep with charizard it's really awesome uh, just like major threats like yeah excadrill with because it has a rock move tyranitar is really annoying it could definitely take a solar beam so i always or i mostly run rhyperior if you don't know what weakness policy does it's if it's hit by a super effective move it raises the special attack by two stages i probably should have said that <laughs> i probably should have started that out started out with that but yeah and then uh rhyperior has the ability solid rock the pokemon receives three fourths damage from super effective attacks uh, so yeah it's pretty cool i'll probably cut this in the beginning uh, I'm just so sleepy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty good team. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I'm going to update the description below. I don't know how many people really care about ranked VGC. That's why I'm kind of just winging it here. But if you did listen this far and you do get, do good with this team, definitely let me know. Uh, also, Ferrothorn is really good for stalling. Um, uh, what was I going to say? God dang it. Oh, oh. I kept saying uh so many times. Take a shot for every time I say uh. You probably won't be alive. But uh no but earth power is really good against toxapex too toxapex stall pokemon really annoying uh gastrodon will eat scald with storm drain yeah pretty cool stuff and then we just got berries on these things too so uh restores 33 percent of the max hp 
excuse me so yeah some cool stuff going on anyways i'm about to go to bed i love you i hope this uh team works out for you really good uh just check the description below for anything i missed and yeah with that said thank you so much for watching my name is Deidre. i'll see you on the next one really soon and yeah peace out love you <laughs>